name's Rick Leckinger, and I work for Jeanette Foot Simons. Last year, I helped Jeanette negotiate the biofuel sales obligation with Labor. And this year, we're having to do it all over again with National. This week's news, which you may not have heard yet, is about our new sustainable biofuels bill, which we're putting to Parliament in the next ballot. Uh, this restores the sustainability clauses that we worked so hard last year with Labour to get into the biofuel legislation to make sure that biofuels sold in New Zealand to fill the tanks and cars and trucks with biodiesel or ethanol is not made from food and causing hunger in other countries, that it's not made from um, clearing biodiversity like the palm oil that comes from Southeast Asia. We need to keep New Zealand moving but we need it moving sustainably. Here in New Zealand, biofuels are made from sustainable feedstocks, things like whey from milk or tallow from uh, the abattoir. These are sustainable feedstocks and it's fine to subsidise them. The end of last year, the new national government repealed the biofuel bill. Now it's decided to subsidise uh, biodiesel in New Zealand, uh, to put it on an equal footing with ethanol which doesn't pay any excise tax and the subsidy is to make up the difference. But because there are no sustainability standards, anyone could bring in palm oil or soybeans or another feedstock from overseas that was not in the least sustainable, turn it into biofuel here and be subsidised for doing it. So New Zealand taxpayers could end up paying a subsidy to foreign farmers and to people that clear rainforests. Jeanette's bill will make sure that all biofuels made and sold in New Zealand are sustainable biofuels. If you want to know more about Jeanette's bill or sustainable biofuels in general, visit her profile at www.greens.org.nz.